All right, well, my talon grips came today. Uh, as you can see here, it's not a big package. Uh, and just now really opened them up for the first time. There they are. And this is, uh, this is for the Glock 23. Um, it's a, uh, they don't really have them necessarily for Gen 2 or Gen 3. Uh, they do have them for Gen 4 or pre-Gen 4. That's how you have to order them. Um, so, but it does have these, the three come wrap across, which would probably fit exactly into the grooves if it was a Gen 3, but mine's a Gen 2. So we're going to see how that works on this one. Uh, so that might be interesting. Uh, they give you some instructions. Uh, it's not that hard from what I've seen. Uh, I've watched other videos of people putting theirs on. And, uh, it, it doesn't look very hard. My mag's out, and that's the round that was in the chamber. It is clear because uh, I'm going to be messing with it. So best to have it unloaded for this. Um, first thing you want to do is now it says the field strip the firearm um, I think that's just for safety but you know what we'll just do it anyway uh, there we go and there's my of course last video I put up I, my new guide rod and of course it was a lot easier to take down because of my brass stacker trapezoid release that's pretty cool I like that I'm liking that pretty good uh, then they give you an alcohol pad. Um, you gotta clean it. But first, to make sure it's the, you know, the grip you want, the grip you ordered, it says to kind of fit it while the, you know, the backing paper's still on it. So you kind of just kind of fit it on there and kind of get a look. And like, yeah, that's that's about right, you know. So, I think that's the right one. They sent the right grip. Um, all right. I'm gonna take the provided alcohol pad. Just kind of rub it down, clean it good. Um, that way you get any dirt, grease, gun oil, whatever, off of it. So that the grip sticks to it, you know, as best as it can. You don't, you don't want poor adhesion here. You know, so. And in the instructions, it says use only rubbing alcohol. Don't use, don't begin soap and stuff out or any kind of detergent or anything. Which uh, I can understand that rubbing alcohol it dissolves quick. I mean, it evaporates quickly. It doesn't hang around on the whatever you're using it on it so I could definitely see why that is uh, just get it good and then you're just gonna have to kind of let it dry kind of let that air dry uh, I've actually got my hair dryer here because um, they they tell you to heat it up after you get the grip on. So I already had my hair dry out, so I'm gonna try to just turn it on to kind of dry up the any alcohol that might still be on it. Hopefully if there was any other debris on there, it kind of blew it off in the process. So, after that, um, move the backing. And it says start from the left side of the gun. So, that's what we're going to do. And this is the granulate paper you know uh, sandpaper grip tape kind of talon grip they do offer a rubber uh, I just went for this I'm not really sure why I went with this over the rubber I think I just figured I'd probably like it better personally yeah. 
that looks that's close let's see let me get it right i don't know if i'm really on in the camera here or not but uh I'm trying to line it up pretty you know perfectly i don't want it to look like crap i want it to fit good so uh trying to get it matched up with the clock in on there that's pretty good i think right there yeah yeah i think so and it does it says to be careful not to really stretch it you know you just 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 you know the way it falls on the grip is really all you want to do you don't want to try to sh extra stretch it over the gun you know that's you don't want to do that so just uh you know get it where it kind of falls into place you can kind of tell the way they have it cut out they have it cut out for the the glock emblem here um it kind of you can kind of see the back how it kind of fits into play you can kind of tell when you when you're putting it on what how it's supposed to go i guess is how i put it that's a little weird there maybe it won't be once it gets on and then you pick this up and uh place your strips i hope y'all can see this i haven't really paid attention if i'm on camera or not okay underneath and then just kind of go back over it and that that's it and now you kind of want to go over and press down on it good and make sure you got it where you want it, where you need it, where it's supposed to be. Kind of get it in your hand. You know that whole deal. Now, yeah. that's pretty much what it's going to look like at this point. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, when the grip is properly placed, um, Take a hair dryer or a heat gun, uh, uh, but don't do. Uh, it says it says if you got a heat gun, do it to a temperature that's like basically like a warm cup of coffee is what they said um, in the in the instructions. It said don't heat over 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, just warm it up and then press firmly into place um, and repeat this step a couple times. You know conforming the grip to the gun and making sure it kind of gets down into the, the little grooves and crevices and stuff so uh that's what i'll do now um so i'm not really sure how loud this hair dryer will get um which i've already had it on once but anyway i won't really be talking during this process so Okay, so it says to do that a couple times, and uh, I will, but um, I'm not going to sit here and just, you know, make y'all watch that the whole time. So, anyway, there they are. Um, I, I think I'm really going to like them. Uh, they, they really seem to, I mean, I don't think you have to worry about the gun coming in your hand or anything. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of it, and uh, thanks for watching.